My eyes close to the lights. Yeah, having big dreams, little time. Yeah. What's good, y'all? Neighborhood niggas checking in. Good in the hood. This is episode two. And today we're going to be talking about the mind. All right? All right. So, uh, a little background on the mind before we get started. I know for me, uh, growing up, I would often get the mind and the brain confused. You know, I really thought they were the same thing. And in a sense, they are, but in a sense, they aren't. Okay? Um, today we're really going to be breaking down the mind into two different categories. All right, we have the conscious mind and the subconscious mind. Okay? So, to start off, um, I'm going to give you some information from... The seven hermetic principles, which are found in the Kiva line, I'll put that in the description below, where you can get a definition of the mind, all right? So the first principle is the principle of mentalism, your mentality, your mind, okay? And... Basically, in this first principle, it breaks down to you how powerful the mind is. A lot of people think that, you know, there's some outside source that's accomplishing their goals, you know, that's getting things done and everything. And, you know, everything starts from where you think. It starts from the mind. A lot of people don't realize that most Millionaires have a similar common attribute about them. And the similarity is the way that they think. They understand that, they understand that the mind controls their reality. Okay? Alright, so. The all is mine, literally. The all is mine. Everything. The background that you see, this room that you see I'm in. If you go outside, you look at the trees, you look at the buildings, the waterfalls, whatever. It is all the mind. And the universe is mental. Okay? The universe is up here. You have a mini universe in your body, <laughs> basically. And I'm gonna give you some proof on that. For so let's think let's look at uh let's look at Thomas Edison who created the light bulb. Okay. The idea of the light bulb did not come from anywhere else but his mind. Out of all the trials and tribulations that he went through in order to create that energy source that, well, I wouldn't say create, but create the light bulb, all right? He had to do a lot of thinking, and he had to have a, a certain mindset, a positive mindset. He believed in himself because literally this chair that I'm sitting on... <laughs> Uh, the house that I'm living in, all of that. Somebody had to think about it before it was created. So literally everything starts in the mind. The mind is really spirit. You know, source, whatever you call it. But the mind is spirit. And everything that's materialized out here is just materialized spirit. It's that simple. <laughs> okay so all is mine um the material universe this phenomena we call life matter energy it's all mind it's all spirit and spirit is undefinable at this point we really don't know how to even explain it 
So let's break down the mind. We have the subconscious mind and the conscious mind. All right. With the conscious mind, the conscious mind is like, it makes about 10% of the mind in itself. The subconscious makes about the other 90. Okay? And the temp, if you think about it like that, that means that consciously what we do, when we think that we're doing things that's going to put us in a better place in life, it's the thought of it. The thought of doing things that'll put us in a better place of life. not, And it's it's combined with the action. But the action is only 10%. So, for example, let me, let me give you an example. Let's say if I had two contestants, okay? Contestant number one, contestant number two. All right? And I tell both of them, whoever hits the target, I give both of them an arrow and a bow. All right, and I say whoever hits the target first wins a million dollars. Okay, I don't care how you hit the target, just hit the target. All right, now contestant number one looks at the bow and arrow, he looks at the bow that I give him in confusion. He's like, What is this? He sees the arrow, he's like, Okay, contestant number two knows how to use the bow and arrow. All right. I say, one, two, three, go. All right, so contestant number one just takes off running. Go, he running. He got the arrow in his hand. He running. He like, all right, I'm going to hit this target with this arrow any way I can. I'm going to get this million dollars. Contestant number two sits back. He grabs the arrow. He grabs the bow. He pulls the arrow and the bow. He pulls the arrow back using the bow now contestant number one saw that and was like okay this dude's going backwards i'm definitely about to win i'm almost there i'm about to hit this target okay contestant number two aims let's go and the bow shoom, passes contestant number one and hits the target he wins a million dollars that's literally how the mind works all right. A lot of people, you know, we were raised, I don't know about you all, but a lot of people were raised to work harder and not smarter. And contestant number one is a prime example of how working harder and not smarter will still cause you to take the L. All right. Contestant number two, it may have seemed like he was going backwards because he pulled the arrow back. But once you let things go, they run its course. So it's like there are certain things that you can control and there are certain things that you can't control. And if you can control it, why not do something about it? If you can't control it, don't worry about it. You know what I'm saying? It's in the hands of the universe. All right. So basically with the conscious mind, like I said, it's 10 percent. And yes, you do have to have action in order to make things manifest in your life. You can't just sit and pray about something and pray about something, and pray about something and not actually try to put forth any type of groundwork. Because like I said, contestant number two, he picked up the bow and the arrow. And he pulled it back and he let it go. But that was action in itself. He didn't do any running. He didn't do any of that. Obviously, if you think that you can do everything by just taking the reins and going, you ain't going to get far. <laughs> All right? So, like I was getting, I'm going to tell you a little side story about me. All right? And a lot of us are connected. A lot of us know these things internally, but we really don't realize that we know it. Sometimes we need people to just be like, okay, this is what it is. And we're like, oh, yeah, I knew that. Yeah, you did. You know, but you have to consciously know it. All right. So for me, for example, I didn't really, I wasn't on this level, I guess you could say, as wokeness, 
back in 2011. But back then, a friend of mine, we both started a clothing line called Vision Mentality. Okay? Vision Mentality. All right? And I created the slogan. Our slogan was, we want to encourage everybody to achieve their vision in life while having a positive mentality. This is the first time I ever started a business, the first time I ever did anything in clothing when I was like, okay, I can do this. I can, I can, you know, get this out here, blah, 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 blah. All right. But the slogan itself, I didn't really, I didn't even realize how powerful that slogan was up until like recently, you know, when I was just thinking about my past, I was like, wow, I really been knowing this stuff the same way as y'all. A lot of y'all, a lot of everybody really knows what's going on. They just are not really aware to their full capacity. Okay. And even when you watch like interviews of successful people, um, Napoleon Hill, shoot, I don't know what type of music you listen to. You listen to Kevin Gates, uh, a lot of different people. They'll hit on similar points about how their life changed when they started thinking positively. Because like I said, your thoughts are very, very strong. Your thoughts control your reality. The positive side of everything is where I like to dwell in because that's how I get things done. You know, I don't I don't like to second guess because when you think about something that's going against what you already believe, that thought itself is combating your original thought. So I know for a fact what I'm gonna be and what I'm built what I'm on this what I'm on this plane to do. I know my purpose. And but the more I the more I will second guess that purpose, the longer it'll take for me to actually start moving within my purpose. I'm holding myself back. So it's important to have faith in yourself. To always think positively. Your negative thoughts, they serve as like a demolition team, really. You can have a dream, and everybody can really accomplish their dream as long as it's in the means of the universe. You know what I'm saying? You can have a dream, and you can accomplish that dream. But if you continuously think negatively, you know, you speak on other people negatively, all you're doing is hurting your own dream. You're hurting, you're hurting your own progress. You have to believe. Even in the Bible, it says faith of a mustard seed. But it also says faith without works is dead. Okay? So, um, <laughs> yeah. The subconscious mind. So, the subconscious mind makes up the other 90%. It's like, the subconscious mind really gets everything done. Alright? So, for example, um, in 2018, I moved to Texas after I graduated from college. Um, I moved to Texas to help out my parents. My grandma, she uh, was going through a lot. And I moved out there to kind of help take the load off my mom and my dad. And uh, as I was there helping them out, over time, you know, I was like, I, I really need to get back to Atlanta. Um, whenever that time offers itself. I need to get back to Atlanta. Because I'm a musician, I'm an artist. Like, that come, that's just my passion, you know? And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna move back to Atlanta in 2019. Let me just stack up, do what I gotta do, all right? So basically, I was working out, I was working while I was out there, you know? I had thought about that Atlanta, and I put it in the back of my head. At a, at a point in time, I literally didn't even remember that I was saying I was gonna move out there. I just was working, making sure my grandma was straight, making sure my family was straight, just working, 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 working. And um, 2019 came, and I just started seeing these signs. 
these, I start seeing these numbers, these signs, like I was meditating, I'm like, okay, something tell me I need to go back to Atlanta. Like, I'm going to tell you the signs that I saw. I mean, they might not mean anything to you, but they definitely mean something. So, I'm born on the 9th of February. Um, I'm a part of a fraternity. And when I crossed, I was number nine. Uh, let's see. My favorite number, obviously, is number nine. And the time that I was planning to move into my spot was in September, the ninth month of the year. So I was like, man, like, nah, 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 all right, cool. I need to go down there. I need to do what I got to do. Now, mind you, like I said, I hadn't thought about it, but somehow there was a way for me to move down here without any type of, like, any type of going against the grain. It just happened. It flowed. And I was like, wow, I was saying I was going to move out here. It's because of that first thought that I put in. You put it in the back burner. You don't constantly think. When you want to get something, you don't constantly think about it. Like, oh, I, wanna, oh, I got to do oh, I got to do this. You set the intention in your mind. And you let it go. All right? You let it go. Just like the bow and arrow. The subcon That's how the subconscious works. You know? You think. You put in the effort. You let it go. And it happens. All right, it just happens, <laughs> literally. But you have to have the positive mindset behind it to back it. That's like the energy. That's like the energy that fuels the thought. You can either fuel it or you can drain it. It's either two options. Fuel or drain. I'd rather fuel. You don't put no gas in the car, how you gonna get anywhere? I mean, that's just basic science. <laughs> but anyway, when it comes to the mind, man, we create our own reality, literally. A lot of times people be like, why is all these bad things happening to me? Why is it that I'm just going through this and going through that? And they never stop to think or stop to realize maybe it's the way that I'm thinking. Maybe it's the way that I perceive things. Because when you get to a certain point and L's happen, you take an L, you don't necessarily look at it like, oh, wow, like, that's an L. Like, I'm, I can't believe, nah, you don't look at it like that anymore. You look at it like, okay, that happened. What can I learn from that situation so I can move to the next level? Because things are always happening for our greatest good, believe it or not. It can be crazy. <laughs> You could, it could, it could be like, man, like I can't even, wow, that really happened. And, you know, a couple years down the line, you'd be like, wow, that happened. I thought that it was this, but it actually helped me to get here. You see what I'm saying? You have to change the perspective of your thought. You have to change how you think in order to really um, achieve your goals in life. Um... If you all ever get a chance, you should look up Napoleon Hill. He goes into great depth when talking about the mind. All right. And the keys to success. You know, if you really want to be a uh, rich, be a millionaire, you have to be rich within yourself first. Rich in spirit, rich in energy, rich in the mind, because that's something that they all have in common. A lot of them, like I said before in the first video, a lot of them are humanitarians. They look for certain qualities in people that they possess themselves so that the cycle can continue to grow and continue to go. You know? Um, this is just part one of the subconscious versus the conscious mind. There will be a part two. And I'll go in further detail and give you all more information to check out. But we have to grasp the basics first. And the basics include positive thinking, knowing that you don't have to work harder, but work smarter. Okay? Um, understanding that we create our own reality. All right. Your thoughts 
We're going to get into that. But think about this. Your thoughts have so much power on your life. It is important to know how to filter out your thoughts. Filter out the ones that serve you and the ones that don't serve you. Everybody has positive and negative thoughts. But the difference between the successful people and the non-successful people are the ones that know how to discern between what's going to serve them what give what they'll pay more attention to basically you know sometimes i will all have thoughts that would be like oh wow like that wasn't i don't i wouldn't do that you know what i'm saying like those thoughts and you wouldn't but we're constantly receiving energy i mean not energy but information through these sensors the mind is just a sensor we're constantly receiving energy not energy but information both really <laughs> And um, in order to be successful, you have to know how to discern between that, between what's going to serve you and what's not. All right. So this is the second episode of Neighborhood Needs. A part two will be coming soon. I really appreciate it if you all would subscribe, comment, like the video, share it with your friends, your family, because the goal of this show really is to just enlighten others. I just want we just want to help make get people to the same level, you know? There's a lot of this information out here that is available, but, you know, sometimes in our everyday life, we're so busy that we're not able to just do the research ourselves. And we're here to help change that. We're here to give you the information. And if you want to go in more in depth, that's up to you. You can do that. All right? Anyway, you all have a blessed day. And signing out.